Dunkin' Donuts, eat your heart out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today you join me in beautiful Toronto. Or at least the, the airport of Toronto. And so what I'm doing here is I'm actually here for Canada Day weekend, one. Uh, but I'm also here to test out the 2022 BMW M8 competition. Super excited about that car. I'm uh, gonna get a real good opportunity to test her out this weekend um, and as well as, as see family. So um, I just want you guys to comment me in the comments. Let me know what, uh, what you're doing this weekend. Are you celebrating 4th of July weekend or is it a Canada Day weekend for you? Let me know which, uh, which one you're celebrating. I would love to hear from you guys. All right, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get into the city. Let's get our usual um, airport pickup that's on its way. And uh, let's have a little bit of fun with family, friends, and some good cars. Airport pickup. Hey. Fuck my shot. Hey, there we go. There's my airport pickup. That's better than any Uber I'm going to get into. wondering what color this is it's a paint to sample it's, a, it's an option that you can have optioned out it's a one of one because no one has ordered it verde mantis like a lime green almost like a greenish yellow but that's actually from factory the thing looks so amazing take a look at this let's go around take a little quick little look see of how good it looks obviously it's got all the carbon fiber this thing's retailing for about 125 127 thousand quad exhaust, big V8 twin turbo, 617 horsepower. What are we looking at in terms of torque? Uh, not to check and see, I think. Over 500, horse, uh, 500 torque for sure. 20s in the back certainly and I'm assuming 20s in the front as well. It's all wheel drive. This thing's on some mean robberies on Michelin Pilot Super Sports or Pilot Sport 4S's need that nice grip that good good rubber when you're pushing this much power around coming around look at how gorgeous that that verde mantis looks looks really good around the front All right so what's really different is that bmw and their m3s and m4s have gone with this crazy ugly shouldn't say ugly because some people like it but it's very controversial um, kidney grills, whereas the M8, they've kept that nice, mean, menacing, um, sort of squared off, not squared off, but like squished down, stealthier looking um, kidney grills. And I really, really like that. Really high-end LEDs. Take a look at that. Look how bright that is. It's got the blue all through it as well. Really, really nice. Sorry about the bug, the bug uh, guts all over the place. Carbon fiber all over this thing. This thing is just decked out, decked out. So coming into the interior here, nice badging that obviously illuminates at night, carbon core, M8 competition. When you see that, you know you're in something seriously special. What I love about the M8 is the quilted leather. You don't see that on any of the models in the line, except for this. This is a beautiful little touch here. All throughout the car, the cabin, even on the side doors. 
looks really really good just with the hints of sort of brushed aluminum you got the the upgraded sound system Bose and Wilkins right not only does this thing perform and look stunning but it pumps the music as well it just pumps it that's part of the that's part of the experience you got to be able to have your tunes rocking while you're while you're listening to that thunderous V8 this one's obviously a 2020, so it comes with a new iDrive system. I'm not going to really get into that, but it's 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 BMW's like top of the line sort of software. Everything from this camera detecting, you know, whether you've taken your eyes off the road or not, whether you're paying attention and alerting you, lane keep lane keep assist, the whole shebang. It, it really it 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 keeps you keeps you safe and really it sort of looks looks after you. It's a bit of a computer in here. Really really cool. You get some more M8 competition badging more m car badging here on the steering wheel you get all your your m colors stitching all throughout get it on the seat belt you get it on the headrests right when you're in a car this powerful this special this expensive you want to look down you want to see you know special badging you want to see m badging you want to see m8 you want to be constantly reminded of where your money went and what why uh well what you're sitting in something special you need those reminders you need that carbon fiber every single time you look down beautiful leathers diamond quilted this thing is absolutely phenomenal maybe it's time to take her on the road and see what uh what she's made of let's just quickly take a look at some of the storage space here boom opens up yeah tom ford that's the way to go i like it good taste this is looking a little uh, a little bit more storage space in there wireless charging you got a little usb if you need it if you're smoking some cigarettes i wouldn't smoke in this car by no means would i be smoking in this car carbon fiber all over the place you got all your m setup right if you've been in any any m car the newer models it's all I mean, any model really it's all the same sort of deal right it's the same stuff you got your shifts you can control the shifts make them really quick or just a little more relaxed you get your exhaust all your modes you got your m modes on your uh on your your configurable mode excuse me on your um steering wheel paddle shifters feel nice nice to the touch nice and chunky just a freaking really nice place to be jesus i guess at 120 g's you'd, you'd hope that it would be Just push it to the right. Just and you're in drive. Okay. Now you're pushing too many buttons, you might not get it. <laughs> it might no, just, I just come out the, of mode. The the um the shifting. Okay, you're I'm in just third just... in hard shift? Yeah. One, two, three, yeah. What was it in when you the first one? Oh well, fuck then it's really gonna be <clears throat> now. Be careful. You're on the first one? I was on the first one. I didn't change that. I just assumed that he had it set up in M2 for everything. And I didn't even look at that, so coming all right wish me luck hey. <laughs> all right driving the m8 competition soon as i get in this car i feel like immediate power but refinement like it's very very tight it feels next level feels like it's got that composure a lot of cracks and, and bangs and bubbles which is pretty standard from um BMW, right? You get a lot of those crackles, but very different to an M4. M8 is, we're talking V8 crackles. So very, very nice, um, you know, nice sound, nice sort of, you know, refined sort of sound. Let's, let's get into it a little bit here. Oh my God, it really punches. Twin turbo V8. So car feels a little bit big, but there's just so much power all the time. Nice big, ch thick, chunky steering wheel. Really like that, makes you feel like you're in something special. Seats are a little bit, the quilted seats behind me, I could probably tinker a little bit with the um, with the setting, with the bolstering of them, but it feels like it's kind of pushing me in the back a little bit, um, but no complaints. I mean, it feels pretty, uh, feels pretty awesome. I'm uh, just getting to my first roundabout here. We're gonna zip around. Um, yeah, the car feels really planted. It feels very, very special. So 
let's get around here and uh, just kind of test the brakes out a little bit here. I'll get around all wheel drive. So it's, it's so planted in the corner, so planted. Let's get on the brakes. A little bit squeaky, a little bit squealy on the brakes, but huge, I think we're, I forget, is eight piston caliper brakes. literally goes like that when you start to accelerate but it's powering it's being powered by four wheels so it's very very planted feels really tight really responsive I'm feeling the road I can really tell that I'm in a, a high high level sports car really nice place to be convertible as well so you're getting everything all the sound out of it here let's get it a little bit around the corner here test that all-wheel drive system out Really nice, very planted. Okay, we're gonna get into it a little bit here. Woo! Wow! Then you look around, you've got all the new infotainment system, you got the beautiful leathers, you got M8 on the headrest here. It's truly uh, like a special, special car. Really, really impressed with this, uh, with this car. Really, really impressed. Listen to that growl. It's got that nice like C63 sort of grunt to it. So nice, man. There's no replacement for displacement. This thing is absolute power house. Power house. Let's go. Is it? Really bright, yeah. It's full on enough. Maybe the sun was hitting it or something. Could be. And you can you can change it. You can make it do all different things, oh, yeah. right? It's got a yeah. bunch of different modes. Mine, I've got it on pretty high. Pretty high it's contact. On, it's got a it's got yeah, its engine good. stop start on it right now. Yeah. Gosh, you can just feel the power underneath. Oh, it's it's just incredible. It's a nice grunt. I like it. It's a beast. Oh, what's that green guy? The Hulk. Yeah, you could <laughs> this call it. This could Hulk. be the Hulk. This it is essentially the Hulk. We're going to nickname this thing the Hulk. The Hulk. Verde Mantis. So the <laughs> Mercedes has a, a, a thing where you can you can stomp on the Yeah, brake, and you can brake lock it. Hold. Oh, it, it holds it? It holds, and then you can let it your locks. foot off. Yeah. yeah. I don't think this one Which has that. huge. I use that all the time. Yeah. I use that all the time when you're in stop start traffic yeah. and stuff like that. That's a cool little feature. And if you're racing someone, you put your foot on it. Right and hold it, and then you yeah. go right to the gas. So we've you never had it in. Uh, we've never had it in track mode. But you eliminate that, like that extra second of the person that you're racing having yeah. to go from from letting off. Yeah, it makes a big to difference. Gas, right? Yep, that's huge. Yeah, it just wants to go, man. That's all. It just wants to get up. Boom. God, it's just constant. Every time you let your foot off. <laughs> <laughs> no. I would love, like, this is another one of my lifelong goals now, is to drive, like, a V10 or a V12 before they're obsolete. Yeah, the V10s just are, to, just they're just insane. A, a V10 Huracan or something like that, yeah. or, or a V12, you know, um, yeah. like, a, I mean, we're never going to get into a Pagani or anything like that, but, like, a, you know, an Aventador or something like that. Never. Yeah, just to experience, because this, I mean, V6, awesome, twin turbo, amazing, sounds great. Yeah. But a V8, that deep, that next level sort of sound, exactly. and there's two more. Yeah. All right, so just here with my dad here. Let's let's just finish up the video. So it's been an amazing day. We've been tooting around in this M M8 competition. Tootie. Top top level of BMW. We're so fortunate to be able to have buddies, have friends that are just hand us the keys to this like 190,000 Canadian, 200,000 dollar car. Really blessed to be in something like this. We really really enjoyed the experience. All 620 horsepower of it. The only problem is, Dane, it's going to make our cars not so nice now. Yeah, our cars. Our car is going to be nothing compared to this after, but hey, you know, it's there's all different levels in life, right? You got to be able to experience them all. We're happy with what with what we have. So, um, guys, if you enjoyed watching the video, please hit that like button. Um, if you haven't already, browse the channel. 
hit that subscribe show the show us some love show us some support uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video feel free to comment below if we've missed any details on the video um, and I hope to see you guys in the next one peace out